Yo, what is up guys? Minskull here and today we have a very important thing, the developer update and uh, so apparently I think this means that the PTP is going to be next week. But anyways, let's do it fast. Uh, I've read some things and holy sh**, this is a pretty big update. So first of all, uh, patching optimization, I'll make it short for you. You will have to download a lot of files when the PTP goes live and when the next update goes live. After that, the rest of the downloads will be fast, so that's all summed up. Here's the thing, so first of all, Ghostface update. They increased 15 seconds for exposed status effect. A good Ghostface won't use that, I think, because normally you expose and you down instantly, like Michael Myers. Mm. The interesting thing here is that once a survivor is exposed, they cannot remove your night shroud. That's the interesting thing. So you can chase someone exposed and not have the red mark. And that's huge in mind gaming, in loops. That's actually huge. I'm really interested about that. Maybe there will be a build where you can literally expose everyone. Maybe some add-ons will increase the time that you can expose someone and you can literally not be exposed. Uh, sorry, you can be revealed unless they pallet stun you, which still reveals you even if they are exposed. So another thing, they are finally changing the add-ons. I wished for this for so long and I already imagine a build with drop leg knife sheet. Like the Ghostface gains 10% movement speed for 5 seconds as for marking a survivor. I can already imagine that combined with play with your fruit at maximum stacks. You will you will have 25% movement speed for 5 seconds, like that's huge. I already, I already see some fun builds and then Olsen's wallet is pff, absurd with brittle strength. I'm really excited for this. Fire up, brittle strength. Yeah, th this is looking very good. Because remember, before they said that if you expose someone, right? They can't reveal you unless they stun you. Well, with this add-on with Olsen's wallet, if they stun you, you can get Nitro back. This is... Pff, <laughs> and it's a wall too. <laughs> I didn't see that. It's a fucking wall too. Oh my god. And now this is huge. So the Legion update here. They added something that I wanted for so long, which is basically okay. First of all, when you stab someone, you get a bonus 0.2 meters per second speed boost for each survivor hit. Second of all, if you hit the fifth hit. Alright, so if you hit all four survivors and then you hit another one, they will get downed. This is huge. And the thing is, once there's only three survivors, does that mean that anyone that, is, that mends will count for this? That's that's a thing I want to test. Because it says fifth hit, not fifth survivor hit, like obviously there's no five survivors. I'm really excited for this. This means that Legion will be weaker than... The, this is... Honestly? Now that I think about it? This is so well done, because the less survivors there are, of course, as a killer, you become stronger. But Legion, be like, he balances himself. That's... Uh, I have to applaud the behavior for this change. Then, the fatigue is now 3 seconds, so just like if you used uh, Cold Dirt and another add-on, the ones that uh, reduce fatigue. So, uh, I still think it's... I mean, it's good. Honestly, after that uh, top one... It's good. I don't like the fatigue part of Legion, but I guess it's going to stay. And then they are changing the add-ons and they are adding new effects for some and changing numbers for others. And Legion is going to have chase music. But the thing is they went the mile on top and they added something that I never expected. So depending on the mixtape that you use, your chase music will sound different. That's honestly, this is one of the best updates in a lot this is a good mid chapter just with this this is already a good mid chapter but they added something else that i'm excited for uh, okay so here's the chase music it's insane honestly it's insane so now this thing Hemorrhage will work. And after that, I haven't bit. So let's see. So basically what I did is done something that I asked for in the past. And I'm going to show this real quick. This is my Reddit post one month ago about hemorrhage effect. And it's a, and I suggested basically what I did. So when you are not healing, will you have hemorrhage? Your healing will regress. 
do you know how much this changes fucking hemorrhage and the bills that we can do with this thing now oh my god like colorophobia could be they just buffed a lot of perks that were useless they just buffed a lot of add-ons that were useless this is huge I am so excited and I want to see this. There's actually an add-on for Freddy that makes you bleed even while... You, like, come on, man. They added... So there's a Trapper add-on. I've been playing Trapper a lot lately. There's a Trapper add-on that is one of the worst ones that makes you bleed after you escape a trap. Now that's... Combine that with mending. Combine these two add-ons. And now the survivor will take so long if you combine it also with Goldrophobia. I'm excited for this. This this will change builds a lot. I am a person that likes to use different builds, some off-meta th stuff. This They just made a lot of stuff actually useful. And now let's check this thing. I haven't read this, so I'm going to read quickly. Well, I've read this and basically they just changed the the difficulty ratings. And not very interesting. I mean, it's interest It's cool, but it's not that interesting, honestly. Uh, this will be useful for new people, I guess. And then we have the Haddonfield update, which if you haven't seen my video, we already talked about it. And uh, the only good thing is that, yeah, the map is getting some layout on gameplay changes. That was very interesting to know. So now we're confirming that this is not just a, re a, a graphic touch up. Like some of the previous maps, this is a full on new, new change with gameplay and stuff, which is cool. So yeah. Uh, I think this is one of the best bit chapters that there were. Like, I'm really excited for it. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope this video was useful.